Scott Russell Tech line on the phone. <laughs> this little walk-in freezer here, it's got a bit of a problem. It's brand new and it short cycles. I can't really show you because it's a beacon system. You see what's happening there? Scroll compressor, this little check valve inside the discharge side just, you know, lets too much gas loose. So it sits here short cycling. A lot of companies put a time delay on the compressor for this reason. Russell, the one in charge of this project right now because it's in warranty, has a different idea. So to get this to stop, I'm just going to hold this in for a bit. Run itself right into a vacuum. I wait. The discharge check valve seats. It doesn't put the pressure too high and stops running. I'm going to close the suction and discharge service valves. Now that's taken care of. I would like to point out that there's a, a magnetic check valve right there already. So, yeah. Whatever, man. We're gonna put the new one right here. We're just gonna attach this to that service port. It's the check valve I've been supplied with to do this and have a look at this. It's the wrong size. Good job. I don't know why I expected it to be the right size. I'm just gonna put in some, some anti-couplers in here. You see, they're just like normal couplers, but they go on the inside of the pipe. This happens to be a three-quarter compressor fitting. It just was seven-eighths lined. So yeah, that'll work just fine. All set. Now that that's taken care of, I've been venting it through this. But the pressure control is about to have to go there. See, so I'm gonna have to hook up to there, meaning I'm gonna have to open that valve back up. Come to find out that this service port right here is tied to this side of the valve. See? That's kind of stupid. Well, anyway, now we vacuum that little three feet of pipe or whatever that is. And just turn everything back on and see if that works. Vacuum's done. No, I did not replace the filter dryer. You can honestly tell me you would have replaced the filter dryer. I'd love for you to put it in a comment. But if you're gonna do that, fully expect you to name this tool. It'll take the piss out of me for using it instead of the right tool for the job. Well, it's running. It looks like when it pumps down. Let's see how that out works. Look at that. Pumps down perfectly now. Check valve did the job. Nice. There you go. Does work. Most people just put a time delay on the startup of the compressor though.